Welcome everyone, Alex here at Dollar Tree. For this episode's music, I wanted to go a little different and use some old Weather Channel music since I used to love the Weather Channel as a kid, and the Weather Channel just turned 40 this month. Now, Dollar Tree is one of the three largest dollar store chains in the U.S. They have roots going back to Virginia in 1953, but the store that would become what we know as the Dollar Tree wouldn't start until 1986 with the name Only a Dollar. There are more than 5,000 stores currently, and they're continuing to expand. They changed the name to Dollar Tree in 1993 and would become public under new ownership shortly afterward. Dollar Tree has had a $1 price range, being the only major dollar store chain to do so until recently. Now they've bumped up their price to 125 to everyone's dismay. However, I'm surprised they've made it this long with just the $1 limit, and even now they're still the cheapest place that I know of to shop. And keep in mind it's up to a dollar twenty-five, so you can still find things that are lower than that in the store. Dollar Tree offers an impressive selection despite their very low price limit. Like I said, Dollar Tree stores have stuck with their $1 price for about 35 years, but with how bad things are right now, it's not all that surprising that they've had to break out of that range. They really do have a bit of everything in these stores. It's like a miniature Walmart, both out it being a chaotic, dreadful experience. And the stores are actually usually in pretty decent shape too. Compare that to the Dollar General stores which are trashy and just kinda ghetto, and honestly can be a bit expensive too. I wish they had more Dollar Tree stores in lower income areas instead of Dollar General. It's not fair to the people living in those low-income areas that they have to deal with Dollar General. Growing up, we always had to shop at Dollar General and nobody really liked shopping there.
This is filmed in February, so you'll see they had all their spring holiday stuff out. I always like Dollar Tree's seasonal sections. And this is a great place to get soda too, which I go through a lot. Here you can find your uh, activity books and whatnot. People still do those, I don't know. I think that's another thing that's been replaced by just an app on your smartphone. And that's one place to hide a basket. Now, this store wasn't the cleanest Dollar Tree I've been in, which you'll see. But it's still not as bad as Dollar General or even Family Dollar. This toothbrush... <laughs> I feel like I'm in the 2000s again. The Weekly Wow. That's about it for my video on Dollar Tree. And if you've been to Dollar Tree before, what do you think about them? Sorry, it's been longer between uploads again. Life is throwing problems at me lately, but I'm happy to make more of these videos, and I hope you've enjoyed them too. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you again soon.